Then we're gonna go over some just some basic little troubleshooting tips. Show you how the switches lay out in relation to the valve. We're gonna say it uh, on this one, the cutter head will swing one direction, say left, but not right. I've removed the bolts out of the uh, covers and the lid so we can raise it up to access the toggle switches and your valves. Each toggle switch has multiple wires, but the heavier gauge code wired is on either end of the switch in direct relation to the valve that it operates. So if we go here to cutter head left, right, the wires on it are red, this heavy gauge, and red with a black stripe. The valve is this one, red, red with a black stripe is on the bottom coil. Every switch is labeled that way. The yellow is the lift valve, which has yellow wires. The toggle switch will have yellow wires. So we're going to use a test light, and since at this point we're looking for 12 volts, we're going to hook the clip to the ground. Turn the switch on. You should have 12 volts here on the main, your remote on machine on switch, we do. You should have 12 volts on every center lug of every switch, we do. So on this one, we're, we're assuming we've got a swing issue. So if you check the bottom lug and actuate the switch, it lights. So the switch is operating properly. Come to the top, push the switch down, same thing. So this 12 volt supply running through this red wire to this connector. There could be a broken wire here. You could have a bad uh, cord on this valve, or the valve itself could be bad as well. So to verify that we do have an electrical problem and it's not hydraulic, we're going to crank the machine up and depress this pin in this valve and manually override this valve, which should make the boom swing. Okay, so we're going to start the engine. So we depressed this override, this boom did move, so we know that the valve is functioning properly, we, the hydraulics are working, that's, that's not an issue. If we needed to move the boom the opposite direction, you would have to come in from the bottom side, made the same way, push up on this pin, it would make the boom move the opposite way. The same for every valve. We do have an electrical problem and it's not hydraulic. We needed to check the connector here. A, take a small Phillips screwdriver. Loosen the screw. Remove the screw. Take a small flat blade screwdriver. There's a slot here. This one will use my test lock. You pull this forward. You can see the terminals that the wires are connected. Make sure the wires are not pulled loose from these terminals. So each switch provides 12 volts to each connector to energize the coil. Every coil has a common ground that loops from connector to connector. The ground is orange with a black stripe.
and you can see how this one comes and loops to here, comes back out and loops to the next. So ordinarily, if the ground's good, it'll be good throughout unless one of them has pulled loose from a connector and that would be where it would stop. And you would have to trace that as well. To trace the ground, you simply just move the clip to the positive side and anything that's grounded will show us ground. Uh, all, of, all of these solenoids, coils, whatever you want to call them, when they're energized, have a magnetism. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use this one. It's easy to access. This is the high gear solenoid valve coil. So if you remove the nut off of any of them, they all do the same thing. I want to energize this coil. You can't, you cannot lift it up off. If you cut it off, it freely floats on the stem. So you can even show you that it magnetizes, it's energized. Can't, can't hardly move it. If you de-energize it, falls back down. And they all do the same thing. You raise it, toggle a switch, energize it, it should have resistance to where you can't, it would be difficult to move it up and down.